These days, few new planes generate the sort of buzz that the original Jumbo, the Boeing 747, or the supersonic Concorde did back in the 1970s. After all, when First Lady Pat Nixon cracked a bottle of champagne over the first bulbous-nosed 747 in 1970, it literally launched the era of mass tourism across the Atlantic. But many aviation insiders say that while the latest jets coming off the assembly line may not have the distinctive look of those early icons, they will have as great an influence on the way we fly, if not more so. Latest machines can take us farther, faster, and move us in greater comfort than ever before, and in the process, they'll burn less fuel, meaning that even if airfares don't drop as a result, they probably won't go up as fast as they would otherwise. Here are some of the newer airplanes that could change your travels. Boeing 737 MAX 10 A larger variant of the 737 MAX 9, the MAX 10 is designed to go head-to-head -head with the Airbus A321neo on highly competitive world airliner market. To keep down development costs, the MAX 10 is a stretched version of its predecessor and retains many of its features, such as the wing and the CFM Leap 1B engine, though there is a new undercarriage. The advantages of continuing with the Leap 1B are that the fan diameter remains the same, and this greatly reduces development and certification time. The quick option is using the thrust bump capability of the Leap 1B. Rated at just over 29,000 pounds for takeoff, the Leap 1B28 is expected to be capable of a throttle push to over 31,000 pounds. This would save the problems of an increased fan diameter. According to Boeing, the MAX 10 has the lowest seat mile cost of any single aisle airplane on the market and has already secured 550 orders from 20 international customers. It comes in two class variants seating 188 to 204 passengers, but it can carry as many as 230 thanks to its length of 43.8 meters or 143.6 feet. In addition, it has a range of 3,300 nautical miles or 6,110 kilometers. After one year of service, 130 Maxes has been delivered to 28 customers, logging over 41,000 flights in 118,000 hours and flying over 6.5 million passengers. Airbus A220 The Airbus A220 seemingly popped up out of nowhere, but it's really a rebranding of a new regional plane, the Bombardier CS300 series, which was acquired by the European airframe manufacturer earlier this year. While that doesn't sound terribly exciting, this nimble narrow body will upend expectations on short-haul routes for several reasons, and comes in two flavors the 100 version with capacity for 110 flyers, and the 300, which can hold between 130 to 160 passengers. Gulfstream G700 Gulfstream Aerospace has unveiled its new flagship business jet, the Gulfstream G700. Being a business jet, Gulfstream is emphasizing the selling points of the cabin, which it says is the tallest and widest in the industry, coming in at 57 feet or 17.35 meters long, over 6 feet 1.91 meters high, and 8 feet 2.49 meters wide. It has up to 5 living areas that seats up to 19 or sleeps up to 10. There's also a 6-place dining or conference area as well as a master suite with a shower. The aircraft has a next-generation flight management system, NGFMS, which is optimized for future air traffic management ATM, that helps to improve fuel efficiency, offer better safety measures, as well as reduce crew workload and direct costs involved in business jet operations. In terms of performance, the G700 uses new winglets that help it operate from weight-restricted short runway and high-altitude airports. Powering the G700 are two Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines generating 18,250 pounds of thrust. It has a maximum speed of 690 miles per hour or 1,110 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 7,364 miles or 11,853 kilometers, and a top cruising altitude of 51,000 feet, 15,554 meters. Embraer E2 Another rival in this space is Boeing's recent partnership with Embraer for production of the E-2, an extension of the Brazilian jet maker's popular regional jetline. The E-2 carries the same number of passengers and has many of the same advantages of the A-220, if not more. Seating will be 2x2 with no dreaded middle seats. Boeing 777X 
The true successor of the 747 may be Boeing's newest souped-up version, the 777. The 777X is billed by the plane maker as the biggest and best of the whole product line, with capacity for 406 passengers in the multi-class layout, virtually on par with its bulbous nose predecessor. The body of the aircraft will be built of advanced aluminum lithium alloy. The foldable wingtips will draw in just more than 10 feet on each side when folded upwards. The wingspan will be 72 meters, whereas length will be 70 meters for the 777-8X and 77 meters for the 777-9X. The cabin of the 777-X will be spacious with larger windows, new lighting, and new architecture. This 777-8X will accommodate 350 to 375 people, while the 777-9X will have 400 to 425 seats. The Boeing 777-9X will be powered by two GE-9X engines, manufactured by GE Aviation. Each engine will provide 99,500 pounds of thrust. It will have a range of 8,200 nautical miles or 15,185 kilometers and a maximum takeoff weight of 344 tons. The 777-8X will be powered by two GE-9X engines, each providing 88,000 pounds of thrust. It will have a range of up to 9,300 nautical miles or 17,220 kilometers and a maximum takeoff weight of 315 tons. Airbus A330 No comparably sized aircraft can match the cost efficiency and profitability of Airbus's modern A330-300 jetliner, which boasts significantly lower operating costs per seat than its nearest competitor. The A330-300 has the versatility to cover all ranges, from short haul to true long haul, while accommodating between 250 and 290 passengers in a comfortable, quiet cabin with a typical three-class layout. This aircraft is serving everybody, everywhere, from the biggest mega cities to the smallest dream islands. This aircraft continues to please passengers and airlines alike. As a twin-engine, twin-aisle wide body that can carry between 250 and 440 passengers, the A330-300 is flexible enough to offer a range of seating options while consistently delivering high-quality comfort to all those on board. A further enhancement of the A330 comes with Airbus's launch of an increased maximum takeoff weight capability to 242 metric tons. With this improvement, the A330-300 benefits from up to 500 nautical miles of extra range to 6,350 nautical miles (11,750 kilometers) with 277 passengers, and carries nearly five tons more payload than the previous 235-ton aircraft. Building on the proven success of its popular wide-body A330 family, Airbus officially launched the A330neo. Airbus A330neo. The A330neo is powered by high bypass ratio new generation engines and is designed with an advanced high wingspan, vastly improving the aerodynamics. New materials have also been used across the wing, including titanium pylon and composite nacelle. All these features combined ensure that the A330neo has the lowest seat mile cost of any mid-sized widebody and burns 25% less fuel burn than the previous generation competitors. It's not only just passengers who benefit from the Airbus's innovations and comfort in design. Besides, comfortable crew rest areas ensuring staff are refreshed during flight. Cabin crew can also enjoy their work in an environment that has been optimized to make doing their job as efficient as possible, with state-of-the-art galleys allowing easy preparation and service of in-flight meals, creating the best possible surroundings to look after passengers. Capable of flying routes from 20 minutes to over 17 hours, the A330neo is highly efficient and versatile aircraft, flying the most frequencies of any widebody. As Airbus entry-level widebody, it offers the lowest financial risk with the lowest seat mile cost of any body in its category. It seemingly complements the A350XWB, offering a similar passenger experience, and thanks to a common type rating, Pilots can fly both aircraft interchangeably, boasting an operational reliability of 99.5%. This is an aircraft that consistently delivers. Boom Supersonic Denver-based Boom, a startup company that's poised to produce the first supersonic jet since the Anglo-French Concorde was retired more than 15 years ago, recently said it would make a demonstration flight by the end of 2019 and aim to deliver its first aircraft to an airline as early as 2025. 
One possible customer might be Japan Airlines, an early investor in the company which has an option to buy up to 20 of the 55-seat airliners, which will fly at just over twice the speed of sound, Mach 2.2. The planes will likely be restricted to subsonic speeds or under 700 miles per hour over land. I've always been fascinated with airplanes. Although I've only flown once in my life, I found the experience exhilarating and even spiritual. Peering down upon the world at 30,000 feet, skipping among billowy clouds. Just miles away, I saw another jet airliner traveling at around 500 miles per hour at the same altitude, but in the opposite direction. And I thought, wow, that's fast. Ever since that moment, I've been obsessed with the sheer power of these magnificent machines. See you in the air.